Welcome back all Foxy Games UK new and existing subscribers. It is Monday, November 18. I'm Fox, your reliable source of aggregated video game news, speculation and rampant rumour. New source links usually available in the video description when and where applicable. So no time to waste then in today's video. More Sony Interactive Entertainment PlayStation 5 related patents appear online, specifically a patent for the PlayStation 5's controller. Yes, the as of yet unnamed controller looks strikingly similar to the current DualShock 4. Seems Sony are going subtle with the aesthetic, with mostly internals receiving the biggest upgrade and change. Source via VideoGamesChronicle.com, here's the full story. A Sony Interactive Entertainment patent has been revealed and it is images of what could be the PlayStation 5's controller. The images which were published on Japanese Patent Office website today and are linked in this video's description, go take a look when we're done here. So the images are attributed to the PlayStation manufacturer and match a description of the PlayStation 5's prototype pad in a Wired article in which Sony's next-gen controller is described as an awful lot like PlayStation 4's DualShock 4. The patent specifically highlights a microphone, but comparison images posted online show that there are many subtle design changes between the pictured controller and the current DualShock 4. I mean, the controller pictured in the patent features larger triggers, slightly smaller sticks and a USB port and no light bar, and the prototype PS5 controller currently being sent to developers is described as an unlabeled matte black doohickey, whatever that means. But Sony has confirmed some significant additions. One major improvement added to the PS5's controller, which we've discussed before in other videos, is adaptive triggers, which Sony Interactive Entertainment say they can vary the levels of resistance to make game mechanics really much more tense, and given that tension in the control and feedback. The PS5 controller, which really will switch to USB-C standard for charging, also includes haptic feedback, which is a highly programmable voice coil, which are actuated is located in the left and right grips of the pad. Now, we all know the PS5 controller will switch to the USB-C model for charging and also includes haptic feedback with highly programmable voice coil actuators located in the left and right grips of the pad. Now, combined with an improved speaker on the controller, the haptics can enable astonishing effects, claims Wired. Now, in a series of short demos, the publication described in October, a character ran through a platform level featuring a number of different services, which Wired said gave distinct and tactile experiences, like sand felt slow and sloggy and mud felt slow and sloggy, ice felt slippery, you get the, I think you get the gist. Next, the version of Gran Turismo Sport ported over to a PS5 dev kit enabled the player to feel the difference between dirt and track services more realistically. Doing the same thing on the same track using the DualShock 4 on a PS4, that sensation disappeared entirely, the article said. Now, the PS5's controller, larger capacity battery and haptic motors make it a bit heavier than the DualShock 4, it's claimed. However, the product manager, Toshi Aoki, said the final version will come in a bit lighter uh, than the current Xbox controller with the batteries included in it. In the same article, Sony confirmed that PlayStation 5 ray tracing technology will be hardware accelerated and that the console will feature a completely revamped user interface and allow configurable game installs. So far, Sony Interactive Entertainment has confirmed several PS5 hardware details, with system architect Mark Cerny revealing that the console will be a disk base system and support 8K graphics, more like 8K compatible if we're being realistic. But PS5 also said to support back backwards compatibility with PS4 games and it's uh we're still in the woods about whether it's going to support all of the other systems but there's many hints and there's confirmation from many in the industry even people I know are saying that Sony are going for history the future the past whatever so that can only mean that they're going to want to include back compat for the older systems in one form or the other and also support current playstation vr headset if you're an owner of playstation vr you'll be happy to know when you upgrade you'll be able to use that so the console is scheduled to launch holiday 2020 and we're looking forward to it aren't we in other news, I covered some of this during yesterday's The Gamer Couch Podcast episode 123 that still makes for some interesting news. And I really don't expect everybody watches podcasts, especially 90-minute podcasts. So here it is in condensed form. So tech magazine T3.com reports a new Sony PlayStation leak hints at a PSP-styled 5G PS5 companion device or portable. Initially reported by Dutch news outlet Let's Go Digital, there's a name that keeps popping up whenever design patterns related to PS5 crop up. Good job, 
LGD. However, the leak shows this new PS5 related document was again filed with Brazilian Patent Office INPI. Now, the document shows a thick Game Boy style cartridge with an indented space on the face of the casing, presumably for the labeling. Now, the product's designer is listed as Eugene Morisawa, senior art director for Sony Interactive Entertainment and the man who is personally responsible for all PlayStation products. It's this detail which means the cartridge could be destined for a new PlayStation product, perhaps a successor to the PlayStation Vita. Now, bear in mind, this is the article that's suggesting this. We, we discussed different uh, possibilities on the game accounts yesterday. So the PlayStation Vita, which really improved on the PSP's design with two analog sticks and an OLED screen, huge small physical cartridges, but production of the console ended earlier this year with no successor announced, leading many to believe Sony has taken its handhelds in a new direction, giving real weight to those rumors of a 5G PSP reported by T3 last year. So while Sony was burned by PlayStation Vita, especially in comparison to the humongous success of Nintendo Switch, its commitment to the immense potential of 5G technology, love it or hate it, means that an updated PSP connected to the cloud could soon become a reality. Stream the best PS5 games and movies wherever you go, anywhere in the world. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. It's really all to play for now and I'm pretty sure Sony Interactive Entertainment want to have all revenue streams or avenues open to them. I mean, a huge chunk of that Sony money admittedly comes from PlayStation and you don't want to be in a position where you're solely reliant on one super successful product within your whole company, i.e. PlayStation. Sure, Sony Interactive Entertainment put out PlayStation VR, that's another revenue stream. Yes, it uh, qualifies as one, but let's be honest with ourselves. As good as PlayStation VR is for many people who use it, it's been a slow uptake for VR across the board though it is growing. So perhaps Sony are looking to the portable device side of things to balance the scale, so to speak, and if they do it right, there's no reason why a PlayStation 5 compatible device that allows PS4 game digital downloads and enables users to continue future PS5 software they already own to continue where they left off via the cloud. And like I've been saying for the longest time, it would really help Sony maintain a foothold in its home region, Japan. I mean, Nintendo are totally dominating the portable space and really gaming space in general out there. So your thoughts on the PlayStation 5 controller design pattern, go look it over in the uh, article that's linked in the video description. And would you go for uh, the type of portable PlayStation companion device as described in the video and what I've been talking about for a while? Would you go for that? What say you? Go ahead, sound off, share your thoughts and opinions on today's news because that unfortunately brings us to the end of another video. But let's continue the discussion cordially in the comments. And for all your current news and next gen updates, rumor and rampant speculation, hit the like button, spread the word and keep it locked to Foxy Games UK. All relevant links were applicable can be found in this video's description subscribe to foxy games uk remember to hit notification bell so you never miss content thumbs up if you like to help us reach more like-minded gamers simply by sharing the video and consider supporting foxy games uk via patreon and or grab yourself a foxy games uk branded t-shirt or hoodie available now in various colors and designs You'll find both links in the video description. I truly appreciate the support. But that concludes our time together on this Monday, the start of the gaming week. It was certainly great hanging out. Until the next video, remember, play games, not corporations.